So if you have a rod like this, how would you add a, uh, a twist to a rod like this? And you can see there's actually kind of like a feature down here. So you would heat it up with a torch and then you probably just twisting it. There's different ways to do this inside of, uh, inside of Fusion 360 for sure. Actually, let me just go back into my preferences and switch this back to Z up. That's my, what I prefer. Move on here. All right. Uh, there's different ways you can do it. One that you probably would lean yourself to is to use the, the create form. That would definitely be, be, be perfectly okay. Um, another way to do it, and that's why I'm doing these videos, is just to show different ways. So let's just let's just look at, at the image we had here again. There we go. So we had kind of like a round piece, and then it turns into to like a, a square that we want to twist. Um, one way to do it would be to go up here and let's see for circle. Let's make this 50 maybe, extrude that out. So there's our round piece right there. Um, now, if we just went ahead and start another sketch here and do a my S key to find my center rectangle, maybe we make this 80 by 80. Um, of course, if I hit Q for press pull, then we kind of have what A is pointing out there, but we want to twist this. There, like I said, form could definitely be be one way to do this. But another way I want to show you, because I think that this could be could be useful for some people, um, was to just create this one sketch here and leave that, and we could use the loft command. So what I could do is I can go up and say offset plane and click on that one up there, and then we could offset this out. I don't know, 20 maybe, I'll set that out 20. Um, and then I could draw on that, to create a, on that face. And if I do the same thing, draw one that is 80 by 80. So what do I have right now? Oh, this gets in the wrong plane. Hang on. You can actually define your sketch plane. I want to do that one, there you go. Um, if that went a little fast, go back and watch that. I sketched on the wrong place first, so I had to put two sketches on top of each other. Um, now, what you could do was you could hit M for move, and you get the move command. So I have to sketch geometry. I'm just going to highlight this whole thing, do a window over it. I'm going to set the pivot by click on set pivots. I'm going to move that back to the origin here and hit the green check mark. And now if I grab this, we could actually start rotating this. So maybe we rotate this minus 30. See that there? Uh, and we can continue this process how, how, depending on how twisted you wanted this to be. So let me do another 20 from that one, like that. And we can kind of rinse and repeat. Open the sketch on that plane. S key for my center rectangle. We did it 80 by 80. Like that, so now we have that one, right? So now we have those sketches. And then if I hit the M for that, I'm just window that sketch. I'm gonna change the pivot to the center there, hit the green check mark. Now I maybe decide to do this one minus 60, right? So now we kind of have those here. Um, and then maybe I do one more way. I'm saying that now the twist is going to be over. Let's do another offset. Let's see that last construction plane right there. We've made it 20 and let's just create one last one that is like the first. We could actually project it. That would actually probably be easier. So let's just P for project and double click this one and we get that last one out there. So so what I have now is kind of four sketches, one standard rectangle, 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and then back to normal. And now if we go in and we use the loft command, sitting right underneath create, we select that, select that, select that, select that, um, you will now see that we have a, um, a twist. And depending on what we do with, you know, how we, we did these different planes. So if I decided to go in and, and, and edit that last plane we created, 
and instead of having a 20 i decided to make that 40. that would be longer if i go in and i you know i could now move all of them uh, that amount that 40. that would just make the twist um however more i wanted to to to, uh, to twist it and how much longer i wanted to do it and this could actually you know, this could be actually control this with a parameter. Somebody will tell me um, if we wanted to do that. But that's one way to literally take and twist something uh, around like that. I hope that uh, that that was a little bit useful, useful trick here. Square bar with a twist in it. Uh, that's how I would do that. All right. Next one here is one that I really am, am excited about sharing. If you like this, thumbs up. If you, thumbs up if you don't. Uh, love the comments, subscribe, you guys are the best. I'm just trying to answer some of my emails.